So I wanna cover some Active Directory terminology and the honest truth is that uh, for Azure, you're not gonna be uh, uh, too worried about these things, but they're gonna come up in the documentation. You're gonna kinda of wonder what they are. And so I just wanted to uh, uh, tell you about these upfront, even though they're not core to study, uh, so that it just really rounds out your Active Directory knowledge. Because Active Directory is such a core service to Azure and Microsoft products, you, you should know these things. Uh, so the first thing is uh, all about domain. So a domain is an area of network uh, organized by a single authentication database. An Active Directory domain is a logical grouping of AD objects on a network. So just think of it a way as, you know how you have resource groups to logically group your Azure resources. Domains are a logical grouping for your AD objects. Then you have a domain controller. A domain controller is a server that authenticates user identities and authorizes their access to resources. Very common to have multiples of these uh, because you want to have redundant uh, domain controllers so you can log in or, or availability or launching domain controller uh, nearby so people can log in, in different places. Uh, so definitely uh, very core to Active Directory. Then you have the domain computer. This is a computer that is registered with a central authentication database. Uh, and a domain computer would be uh, an AD object. Uh, so then you have AD objects. So this is the basic element of Active Directory. So you have users, groups, printers, computers, share folders, etc. Then you have a group policy object, a GPO. This is a virtual collection of policy settings. It controls what an AD object has access to. You have your organizational units. This is a subdivision within Active Directory into which you can place users, groups, uh, computers, and other organizational units. So it's just another way of um, doing logical grouping. Then you have a directory service, and this is this provides a method for storing directory data and making this data available to network users and administrators. A directory service runs on a domain controller. So there you go. That is the rundown of Active Directory terminology. And again, hopefully when you see it in the documentation, you can refer back to this or you'll have a, a better understanding of all the components. I would have loved to have made a diagram, but I just couldn't find an example of one. And so, uh, I mean, I feel like there could be a really good picture uh, for all this stuff.